welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you my bullet journal spreads from the month of February. So the theme I chose for the month was jellyfish and the color scheme I chose is different blues and purples which I think turned out really nice. For the cover page I chose the quote with no heart still beating, pulsating, vibrating, illuminating. It strives and survives without ever giving up so let's do the same too. Again, just like on my January cover page, I tried doing joint handwriting underneath here, but it turned out ugly, so I stuck these waves over it and used stencil and fine liner instead. Here you could see some of the letters over here, so I stuck on some turquoise wool with this metallic string in it. Everything else I outlined with fiber tip markers and the little jellyfish, this jellyfish's bell, and the handwriting here I colored in with gel pens. And the rest with coloring pencils, but lightly this time. I like how it turned out with the different symbols beside each word here representing each action. I would use some drawings for inspiration and make my own jellyfish designs, making them also more simple. This time I drew the calendar across two pages and everything is outlined with markers. I used fine liners for writing and highlighter over it. First I just drew the big jellyfish on the right side but it seemed quite empty all around so I drew these baby jellyfish to fill it in. Next, spreads that I didn't have last month are a line a day and a gratitude log. This one I have as a quick overview of my days and this one to think more positively and not dwell as much on negative thoughts. Some lines are covered up because obviously I have some personal stuff that I wouldn't want to share that I have written in here. I used a fine liner for all the numbers and two different highlighters for each writing space. So it would go in the pattern blue, purple, blue, purple. The titles are just like on the cover page and the jellyfish were also made with marker and coloring pencils. For the mood tracker, I drew 28 different jellyfish in different colors which I think turned out pretty cool. I just colored in each jellyfish depending on the mood I was in. And on this side, I have a habit tracker. This one is a Portuguese man of war, which I know isn't a jellyfish, but I still think it looks pretty cool. And it looks similar to the jellyfish, so I just included it in. And each space would be for a different date. And if I journal, I'd color each space in them. And this one is a box jellyfish, but I didn't have enough spaces for each date. So I added the little jellyfish here, the fish, and also these electric symbols here. The next spreads are also new ones. The one on the left is a water tracker. Each bubble around the jellyfish is for a different date. And I recorded how much I normally drink, which isn't a lot. I've always been bad at drinking. So next one, I'll try to be better. On the right, I have a sleep tracker. I came up with the idea to draw the bell of the jellyfish and then make the tentacles with the highlighter, depending on how long I slept. I, I really think it looks nice. This is my to-do list for the month. Some points were more like long-term goals, which I didn't accomplish yet, but I hope I'll get there. And yeah, some of them are covered up because they're also personal. And for the last page, I have the scripture, praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all deeps, Psalm 148, seven. I wrote the sentences with a fine liner and stencils and the bell of the jellyfish I cut out from card and drew patterns on it, then stuck on. And lastly, I stuck on the string with glue to match the quote page. There was a lot of space in the back, so I used paint to fill it in. But the thing is, I already had the next cover page all outlined and everything. So when the paint soaked in, you could see all the marker from the back, which I shouldn't have done. It was just a silly mistake. So that's why it looked really ugly, like you can see a bit here. But the main thing, I had to like rip the jellyfish I had before, I had to rip it off. And then I had to stick this new sheet over it and do the jellyfish again. So hopefully I'll remember next time and I won't do the same mistake. This is it for today's video. Please comment down below which spread is your favorite. And if you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. The upcoming video is my first bullet journal with me. So make sure you check that out. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.